Here's another great book. Another great children's book. I spotted at the library. I always like the ones that are unique, that are different. This one is different and it is very clear. And this guy used photographs, but he did a great job. He made these little doll figures out of wool and then he set them to make a story, a picture. Uh, every picture is like a story and it also reads like a children's book. So here it goes. Great job, Dad! Bring, bring! I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad just to pass the time away. Can't you hear the whistle blowing? Oh, so early in the morning. Can't you hear the whistle blowing? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow your horn? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow your horn? Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Oh, oh, oh. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Strumming on the open show. Woof, woof. And that's what it is, dear old dad is singing and playing with his children. And here we go. Great Job Dad by Holman Wang. Here we go. Great Job Dad. These are great pictures. This is a great story. And this is, this is <coughs> Great Job Dad. Only one thing, I don't know where the mother is. Perhaps, uh, perhaps he's just by himself raising his children. So let's align this book. I think it's pretty well aligned good now. Okay. My dad works as a manager from nine to five each day working nine to five how to way to work work and make a living just working nine to five oh, oh yeah and there he is working nine to five uh, i'd rather get off at four <laughs> like i used to okay now at home, though, he's a waiter, except without the pay. Here we go, coming right up. Toast and butter. Oh, goody, goody. Yes. And for the specialty for the day is toast and boiled eggs. Oh, goody, oh, goody. My dad's the greatest cook. He can really cook good food. I like his breakfast. Me too, me too. Quite often he becomes the chauffeur to several VIPs. <clears throat> yes, dear, you'll, uh, Jane, you'll like the park. Yes, Johnny, here we go. This will be a great time for us to be together. Out in the sunshine, and the birds are singing, 
and this beautiful park around us and we'll have a great time. Oh, Danny, this is going to be so much fun. And fun it is. But, 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 looks like Dad acts as an inspector, too. It matters what he sees. Oh boy, looks, looks like Johnny needs his diapers changed. P.U. Dad, that stinks! Yuck! Woof, woof! Okay. Okay. See, he sometimes has to serve as judge to find who's in the wrong. She did it! She did it! No. Johnny did it! Johnny did it! Now let me get to the bottom of this. You said that she spilt all this mess and she says that Johnny spilt all this mess. Let who could it be? I must decide and I must punish whoever did this dastardly deed. And whoever did it They've knocked over the drinks. They've knocked over the fries. Here they are at the bottom. The dog's playing with the ketchup. What a mess. Sometimes Dad is the judge. Perhaps computer engineer when glitches come along on the tablet. Dad has to find out how to get that tablet working right. And Dad usually gets it right. By night, he's our librarian with stacks of books piled high. Oh, Daddy, that was a good one. Yes, Dad. Could you read that one again, Dad? <laughs> I'll read it one more time. And then you've got to go to sleep, okay? Okay, Dad. Okay, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a pony. There was a boy riding the pony. But the girl wanted to ride the pony. And the boy didn't want her to ride the pony. So the father came. And he made the boy get off the pony so the girl could ride the pony. Oh, I like this, Dad. I like this. Oh, Dad, I like this. I want a pony, I want a pony. And so, Dad continued to read until they both got sleepy and they're in their cozy little beds and they fell asleep. I guess with Dad that night, perhaps he spent the night with them. No, no, no. No, no, no. I gotta make sure this is right here. Okay. My dad, he earns his pilot wings and flies us through the air. Whee! I like this, Dad. I'm a bird, I'm a bird, I'm a bird. Woof, 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 woof. Oh, you look really great, dear. You look great. You're light as a feather. My turn next, Dad. My turn next, Dad. Okay. As soon as we take a, take old Jill to Tokyo and back. Oh, boy. I always wanted to go to Tokyo. I want to go to Tokyo. Here we are. Here we go. We're landing at the Tokyo airport. Look out. There's turbulence. Here, put it on automatic pilot. Here, all clear for runway. All clear for runway. 
You, you, slow your descent, slow your descent. Okay, okay, Dad, okay. Keep your nose up and gradually descend until you land in Tokyo Bay. I like this game. Can I go to Tokyo too, Dad? Why, sure. Yeah, sure you can. And perhaps I might even take you, or you might even go to Yokohama. Oh, boy! Yokohama! Now. Now. At times, he is an architect, designing roofs and walls. I like this, Dad. It's just like camping. Oh, this is great. I like it. I like being under. Can we sleep? Can we sleep in here? Can we sleep? Well, sure you can. That's what we're here to have fun, right? Yes. Yes, yes. We're here to have fun. And fun they do have. And now. And now, and even our receptionist, he has to take our calls. Yes? Yes? Yes, Gail? You want to come over to see Jill? Oh, Daddy, Daddy, p -p 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 please, please, Daddy, please, please let her come over. Oh, please, Daddy, I want to see Jill, I want to see Jill. Well, sure, you can come over. Well, you can come over and eat supper with us. Oh, goody, goody, goody. I want to see, yeah, I want to see, I want to see Gail. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Uh, no problem. Okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, supper time. You can come on over. Okay. Goodbye. Goody, goody. I get to see my friend. And now. And now, and now, and now, 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 and now, let's not forget astronomer. Who knows the stars above? Dad's going to show them with the telescope. And there, and, and there, uh, right over there, that's Alpha Centauri. Oh, I want to look at it in the telescope, Dad. We'll go right ahead. Where is it? I'll point a little bit to the left, a little bit up. Oh, there it is. It's so big in the telescope and bright. Oh, this is wonderful. I see a lot of stars, a lot of stars. Yes, you will, dear. With a telescope, you can reach way into the sky and see lots more stars. I want to look. I want to look at the telescope, said Johnny. I want to look. Wait your turn, son, just wait. You'll have your turn. Oh, isn't the stars nice tonight? Beautiful, brilliant. What a great time, what a great time. We'll have to do this again, okay, kids? Yes, yes, we want to go, we want to go again. Woof, 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 woof. Okay. Dad does one job to pay the bills, and he does the other one out of love. Oh, Dad, this, this was a great picnic. Would you read some more from Alice in Wonderland? Oh, dear. Oh, just give me a minute. I got to rest a little bit, okay? Sure, Dad. You're the greatest. Oh, look at Johnny. His dog is looking at him. Oh, God. Oh, God. That tickles, that tickles. Ah. I cut it out. That tickles. And this ends the story. The story of Great Job Dad. Does anybody want to know how Mr. Holman Wang did this story. For it's all been taken with cameras 
and trick photography and these little dolls he made up his own self he puts wool around little wooden dolls and they look so real and he even uses his own furniture sometimes because he uses the camera to change the size and make it all look like it fits with this little family <clears throat> Mr. Wang says, I think of my illustration process as something akin to movie making. First, I cast the characters. In my case, I create a one to six scale figure in wool through needle felting, a painstaking process of sculpting wood by repeatedly stabbing it with a specialized barbed needle to put on that wool. Next, I scout locations for outdoor photography. He takes pictures outside. These photos are really real. They're really taken outside. He builds scale models set for indoor shoots and acquire or make all the pint-sized props. That means the table and the food is the props. For the outside props and the pint-sized props he needs for a particular scene. Then I get behind the camera after a lot of trial and error. I usually manage to capture an image that's worthy of the final step. A little digital editing before post-production. So that's how he made this book. He photographed these little dolls he made. And then he had all these little things to fit with the dolls, little tables little fries, little ketchup. And then he used trick photography to make the background look the same size as this. Some of it was his own rooms and where he lived. Like this is his kitchen. And he made it look as small as they are at the table. The stove, the sink, and here he is taking more pictures. And this is how he did the wonderful picture of them looking at the stars. I don't exactly know how he done that. And he doesn't say whether this is a, a picture or what it is or if it's real stars, I don't know. Great, great, great photograph. So this ends and where does Mr. Holman Wayne live? Seems like nowadays a lot of people are living in Canada. So where does he live? Vancouver, Canada. With his wife and kids. And his website is www.holmanwing.com And I hope you like the story. Great job, Dad. Here we go. Great job, Dad. Great job. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. Now I gotta wait for Clay to turn off the movie right now. Can't you hear the button clicking? And we'll say goodbye till the next time we meet. I'll say goodbye. 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 Here we go. Great job, Dad. <laughs>